Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for, this is gonna be a two-part reading. So this is gonna be, do you have new love coming towards you? That's gonna be the first reading. And then is your ex going to return? That's going to be the second part of this reading. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. All right, my darling. So we're going to talk about the new love first. That's going to be a very extensive reading. Then we're going to go into the X returns, which is another going to be another extensive reading. So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way for next month? Of course, we're going to time stamp this for March. Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what's going on my Libra? It's like love life. Does Libra have the potential for new love coming in in March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck one. Does Libra, the one they're here for the kingdom, does Libra have the potential for new love in the month of March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Does Libra, the one they're here for, the one I want to know about, does Libra, <laughs> does Libra have new love coming in in the month of March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's put these aside. These are our clarifiers, okay? And let's lay down your cards. Okay, so we got the Judgment card energy. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Two of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the, nine, the Ten of Wands energy, okay. We have the Death Card energy, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Knight of Wands, okay, okay. All right, let's see exactly what's going on with this new love potential here, okay. So it looks like there is a person that definitely has love for you, Libra. They have been patient. They've been trying to contemplate their emotions here. Maybe even they're asking for advice here with this Queen of Cups energy. This person is spiritually connected to you with the Star Card energy. There's something very hopeful about this connection. This person does make a, want to make a power move towards you. Uh, you may work with this person with the Emperor Card energy. This person could be a boss even with the Emperor Card energy. You could own their own business here with the Emperor Card energy. This person is very wise in their communication. They're very organized and very structured. Your person definitely feels that you're different from your usual type and expectations with the Page of Swords energy coming out. This person may have a lot of money or be very good with money or is very focused on the long term. This person does deal with a lot of heartache here or you do break their heart with the Three of Swords energy. This person does want to rush in and, and have a victory with you and take charge of the situation. Yeah, definitely. They definitely want to rush in. And this person seems like they want to hold on to you. And they're looking at this connection more as a, as a long-term stable connection with the Four of Wands energy. You may also meet this person or you may have already met this person at some kind of celebration or wedding or conference or somewhere where there's a gathering of people. Um, we see that there is a Two Swords energy. What should I do? I'm indecisive. They're in their head about the situation. Possibly because they're really seeing this as more of a serious connection with the Hierophant card and a new potential beginning, Ace of Pentacles energy. They keep thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. And they're defeated energy here. I do feel like some of you have a person who's really spying on you with the Seven of Swords energy, but they have a lot of self-doubt and they dealt with a lot of things in the past that really brought them a lot of regrets. And so they're really confused about what to do. Seven of Cups energy. Okay, so, and we have the Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy in the bottom of the deck could potentially be that. I feel like also for some of you, you may be aware of a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but again, we see an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy there too. Okay, so in the current situation, we see the Judgment card energy. Some of you guys are healing from a past relationship or this new love connection is healing from a past relationship, okay? Or you guys are reconciling with someone from the past, okay, with the Judgment card being there. I feel like the potential is because of this situation, you're kind of trapped in your thoughts here or the other person is, the new love uh, connection could be. 
they are having this trapped energy here and they are hesitant to take a risk here. Okay, so your your what your focus needs to be on right now is the the king of wands, uh, king of wands, the king of pentacles. Could be a particular person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or spirit is saying you gained a lot of experience. Okay, Libra, and you know what the best decision is for you based on the long term. So they want you to look at things from the long term. Okay, and they want you to be in that stable position from the long term so that you can take a leadership role and make the best decision for you. But we can see that. When it comes to new love uh, connection, it does look like this person is somebody you've dealt with before. You may have met them before in the past, okay? This could be a past life for some of you, but I do feel like it's, you've met this person before because there's memories of the past or something to do with the past with this person. Okay, so we see that the block, it seems to be some, some choices that have to be made, some head bunning that's going on about some decisions. And we see, Spirit is saying your advice is a relationship, a commitment, okay? Or uh, focusing on love and a commitment or a soulmate connection. We see that the influence seems to be a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burdens in moving forward. Someone's making a blind decision based on that and just kind of going forward, going further. So we see the whip card energy, the mountain card energy, the child card energy the tower card energy, the mice card energy, the ship card energy, and the letter card. Okay, so there may be a lot of hurt and pain that still needs to be healed from the past, okay, in the current situation, which is gonna cause delays and make you stuck in your thoughts. Spirit is saying that there is a new situation here with the child card energy coming in, okay? And we see in the past, there was a sense of isolation or separation from somebody from the past. So, and or the tower can talk about, you may have met this person in a big building, a corporate structure, a corporate building, a government building, or uh, there was some sense of order and structure here. Or you kind of felt like when you met this person, you felt a little bit isolated and separated from them. Okay, so we see that the block, it seems to be stress and anxiety about a decision, a choice, which is part of the block today and challenge to new love for March. We see that there is somebody who could be at a distance from you with a ship card energy, or you may have to do some traveling here with the ship card energy, or something needs to change in a relationship or how you deal with relationships as the advice. We see there's an influence of a text message letter, a document um, to deal with burdens or responsibilities here as the influence in your romantic love life. So going further, there's gonna be some heart to heart conversations that'll be delayed. Spirit is saying be committed to some, some, a serious situation and being stable in what you want. Very soon you're going to, or in the past there was a decision you were gonna to have to make. We see that the blockage is you guys are still healing from the past, okay? Yeah, you guys already know because it's saying your advice is saying, listen to your intuition, okay, for your advice. And there is a hopeful situation for new love here because we see that as an influence. Okay, so let's see the outcome here. Okay, so we see the death card energy, Libra. So it looks like an ending is happening, something changing, something is changing in your situation, okay? But an opportunity is coming in, Ace of Cups, some, somebody you're truly gonna love, a true love offers coming in, okay? So I feel like there's still some transitioning going on here for you guys. So I don't feel like it's gonna be complete by March. Okay, just want you to know that. It's not gonna be complete by March because it's saying that you're still overcoming some kind of ending, some kind of transition here, and there's going to be an opportunity of true love coming in. And it's gonna be a little bit of an abrupt situation. It's gonna be a passionate situation also with the Knight of Wands energy showing me that. Yeah, there's the coffin card. An ending of burdens and responsibilities and there the person's gonna come in. So there's gonna be some delays around this potential connect, connection or commitment. Use your intuition, okay? And uh, we see when it comes to a relationship in someone missing you, okay? Because we see that you're still getting over or someone is coming out of a relationship here. That's what we see. It's gonna form into an opportunity of true love here and there's gonna be a lot of passion and energy or a lack of commitment because of the fact that there is a person that's coming off of an ending or an ending of a relationship. But there is hopeful energy. Even though there's still a lot of burdens, a lot of things that's gonna to happen to complete the situation, it is hopeful, okay? So again, it's saying patience 
when it comes to new love, okay, you're gonna have to be patient around the situation because there's gonna be some time to really think about this and contemplate the situation for them to be alone or um, you really need to do a lot of deep, heavy soul searching when it comes to this new opportunity and be patient with them because it feels like for, for a lot of you guys, this person, either it's you or the love interest, you gotta take it all, it resonates, the new love is coming off of another relationship. They're ending another relationship here to come forward. Okay, so, and it's like, and you're gonna have to be patient with this person to work things out. Okay, so, and we can even see the advice is something to do with a relationship and a change. Okay, so now my beautiful Libras, we're gonna take a look at the X return situation here, okay? Okay. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. So we're gonna ask now about Libra's ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Does Libra's ex love interest have the potential to return in the month of March? The one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. Okay, that's card deck one. Does Libra's ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, does Libra's ex love interest have the potential to return in the month of March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck two. Does Libra's ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, does Libra's ex love interest have the potential to return in the month of March? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's put this aside. Let's put this aside because these are clarifiers and let's lay down your cards. Okay, we got the chariot. We have the magician. We have the fool card energy. We have the devil card energy. We have the five of wands. We have the hierophant card. We have the temperance. We have the ace of pentacles. Okay, we have the ace of swords. And we have the Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take a look at your person. So someone has, this person has been a little bit self-focused or they are single and available now to pursue. They, you, they, they, they feel like you make them completely happy and they are looking at the long term with you. Your person does feel like you're the best decision when it comes to love with the King of Cups energy. This person seems to be trapped in their thoughts about it, okay? But they do feel like their hands are tied around the situation because of the sense of burdens, responsibilities that they need to let go of. Your person really wants to flirt with you and send you passionate messages here with the Page of Wands energy, and they do love you and want a relationship with the Two of Cups energy. You're everything that this person wants here, Libra, with the Nine of Cups energy. This person is at a crossroads within their thoughts about what to do because they're looking at their emotions, but then they're, they're letting their thoughts kind of rule what they're going to do with their decision. This person does want things to come full circle with you, okay, with the world card energy. They want a sense of accomplishment and completion in this connection, and they do want to fight for this with the Seven of Wands energy. Your person has a lot of regrets about what happened with the Five of Cups energy, and they really are stuck in their mind about this heartache with the Three of Swords energy because they really have strong passion and chemistry with you with the King of Wands energy, and they want your attention here. Okay. So now let's take a look and get deeper into the situation and see what's going on here. Okay. So we got the Chariot card energy. Mm -hmm. It looks like somebody's rushing back in here. You're going to have a victory in the current. It looks like you're already aware of this, okay? There's some kind of movement happening here. We see because of delays. So the movement's happening because of delays here, okay? And then we see the Magician card energy. We see that the potentially you're going to have all the tools that you need. Blockages and delays end, okay? And then we see... Spirit is saying, okay, don't be naive about the situation. Don't go rushing into anything, all right? Be cautious about this situation because we got the full card energy, all right? So this is what the focus needs to be on right now, okay? Don't be foolish. Don't rush into anything. Don't take any unnecessary risks, okay? Focus on your happiness. Focus on things to be revealed to you. Yes, this person is very obsessive with you, Libra, okay? They do um, def definitely are thinking about you and they have strong desires for you. And we see in the past, there was this house, family, a stable situation, okay? 
The blockage and challenge seems to be arguments or fights or there is a lot of competition here for your attention. We see a person here with the person card coming out could be part of the blockage and challenge. Your advice is the Hierophant card, which says to get spiritual advice, that could be the case with the Hierophant. Look at the bigger picture, Hierophant, tune in and do some meditation, that could be the Hierophant, or focus on marriage and long-term here in growth. Don't lose hope, star card energy is the advice. And also we see that the influence here, Libra, there's, there is a situation that's being healed here with the temperance. So, and it's a patient energy here. And there is positive changes happening with the store card energy coming out. Going further on this, yep, things are being brought into balance in your situation. You're gonna receive some kind of text message, letter, or document, or communication. Spirit is saying, again, do some deep, heavy soul searching about your happiness. Don't rush into anything. Don't be naive about the situation, okay, when it comes to this person. In the past, there, is an, there was an opportunity here for house and family and a stable commitment. We see that the blockage is someone who is not being nurturing, supportive, okay, because of arguments or fights. Okay, so we see that the vice is be patient, okay? Again, don't rush into anything. See the bigger picture here. Give it some time. And we see, yes, there's a reconciliation taking place for you guys in the month of March because the influence is there for it. And again, here it is. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. There's a clarity, there's a victory, there's a truth here about this passionate energy and this abrupt action for passion here with the Knight of Wands. There is people here and movement and change because of a text message letter or a document. So it looks like you've got quite a few options here, Libra, for an X or a new beginning here in this situation because it's saying that there's people or this new beginning or this opportunity is going to come out because of uh, or come through through other people or through socializing or going out friends or family you're going to get clarity about this person missing you because they're going to send you some kind of text message letter or document that's going to be very passionate in nature okay and i don't want energy star card hopeful energy i'm missing you what did i say and you're going to gain knowledge of it straight up but I know it's, it's definitely potentially possible for this person to come back, but let's go back to the advice labor. Be patient. Don't lose hope. Look at the bigger picture. Look at this from the long term. All right. Give yourself some time alone. Focus on really what's going to make you happy. Don't take any unnecessary risks. All right. Be cautious about the situation before going back into it. Okay. Because you really need to examine why did this happen to begin with? Why did you guys break up? This needs to be reset and re, um, reconfigure it in order to come back together. Because if you keep going back together and it's the same issues again, you guys are gonna break up for the same thing. So just keep that in mind and I want you guys to really contemplate this because Spirit's really saying be patient and really give yourself some time here, okay? All right, my beautiful Libras. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two. I just got one of the readings done. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out. The one I just got done is, what do they secretly want to tell you that they're not saying? That reading is up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.